They might get some clues here and there, but you got to actually take the time and talk uh, to the customers to find out what's really going on. And you need you need people that actually are savvy enough to know how to read people on the other side of the table and keep asking all those probative questions. One of the best things in my career I learned at Accenture was we always sent staffers in to go interview top executives of companies. Why? Because the staffers could get away with asking the why question like five and six times in a row until they actually got to the real root issue of what's going on here. And I thought that was always a fantastic deal. So yes, uh, the data in and of itself isn't going to get it, uh, not in my mind. Yeah, the human piece is really important. Um, and that is something that is hard for us to get across to investors but is, um, I had a prospect say to me at a giant tech company last week, she was like, oh my God, the humans and the tech, that's like a, a gentle hug for my brain. Um, but if we're not willing at enterprise, and it's hard because of the cognitive overload that people working in enterprise are dealing with, but if we're not willing to retrain our brains a little bit and, and open up the conversations, it's the second law of thermodynamics. I mean, it's just chaos continues to ensue until we can get some new energy in there. And that's second, what we're going to do. Second law of thermodynamics. I didn't sign up for that on this call. Did you, John? <laughs> but anyway. I'm not going to be hitting the books tonight, I can tell you that. But one thing I will one thing I will say that I think is really interesting, Maureen, is that I spent a decent amount of time in the cloud ERP mid-market. And one thing that I like about doing that is that some of these companies don't have as complex a legacy landscape. And so I get to see what's possible when there's less of that. And when they migrate into a more like a platform that has a lot of their most important data.